to my channel. My name is Megan. If you're new here, uh, if you are not new here, welcome back. It's been a fat minute. I have not filmed anything in months and I don't really have an excuse other than honestly, quarantine was rough. I was feeling super unmotivated. I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that. I was feeling really unmotivated and I was going through it. I was going through it emotionally, mentally. Um, anxiety was super high. I was, I was pretty depressed for a lot of quarantine. Um, and I know that a lot of people had it way rougher than I did. I'm very blessed to have been employed throughout the entirety of COVID, this entire shit show that is a pandemic. Um, I'm very blessed. I'm very grateful. I know that a lot of people have really, really struggled through this in more ways than I have. So I'm not trying to make my stresses seem bigger than anyone else's by any means. But I was mostly just kind of ashamed of the way that I was feeling. I was really down, really negative. Um, I was eating a lot for comfort, which is my thing. Um, I'm a comfort eater. Uh, I gained a bunch of weight to the tune of like 15 to 20 pounds since last March, March 2020. Um, and honestly, I was feeling really ashamed of it and I didn't want to post on YouTube because I was nervous people would notice, although I have like 85 subscribers. It was really just a big point of insecurity for me. But here I am, I'm sucking it up, I'm getting over it. It is what it is. And now I'm on a weight loss journey, trying to get healthy, trying to get fit, trying to get lit. And um, I wanted to spark back up YouTube to maybe take you guys along with me, but we're not getting into any of that today. Thanks for listening to my spiel. I am a smoothie. I'm going to Trader Joe's today. I'm just going to do a little weekend in my life situation. I literally don't have anything happening this weekend, which this is the first time in so long because I cram all my chores into like one weekend, but I got ahead of it last night. I cleaned my car. I cleaned my house. I started laundry, didn't finish it. Never do. Um, and I just kind of want to take you guys through a chill ass weekend in my life. Today I'm going to Trader Joe's. I'm going to drop some soup off with my coworker. Um, his girlfriend just got out of the hospital and I'm sure they have just like not had cooking on their mind. So I made extra soup last night. I'm gonna drop it off with them. And then I'm going to my mom's house. She got me an always pan for Christmas. So I'm so excited. I'm probably gonna use it tonight to make something delicious. And then I'm going to my friend Shelby's house because if you didn't know, drum roll please, I got a puppy during quarantine. I got a mini Australian Labradoodle. His name's Scooter. Um, I'll put a picture of him right here. Pause for dramatic effect. He's so fucking cute. And I got him when he was eight weeks old. He's six months old now. And he got neutered the other day. And I ordered him one of those like cute little neck pillows off of Amazon. And it's it fits him perfectly, but he is like so long and sneaky that he can still reach his incision. So he's struggling through it with the cone right now. My friend Shelby has a bigger size one because her dog recently got spayed. Um, and she's much larger than Scooter. So I'm gonna grab that and try that on so I don't have to pay for a new one. Um, and then I think that's it. And then I'm coming home and I'm probably gonna make lunch at that point and just vibe. I'm gonna put a little grocery haul in here. It's gonna be so fun. Anyways, thanks for being patient. Thanks for rocking with me. We're gonna get the vlogs fired back up. I have this AirPod in because my AC is so loud. I'll check back in after I get groceries. She is here, you guys. I'm at my mom's house and she got me this for Christmas and it was back ordered. It comes in this cute package. What is this? Sponge. It comes with this steamer basket, which is great because I don't ever steam veggies. I just boil them and or like saute them. Oh my gosh. It is like hefty. It also comes with this like really nice wooden spoon and there's like a holder for it or something you like yeah. is that how you do it yeah i don't know the lid locks on it oh it does okay cool well i'm going to use this tonight and i will vlog whatever i cook with it and give a full review she's gorgeous we're gonna try this one more time i just recorded this entire grocery haul and it just wasn't recording the entire time so Ooh, before I get into the groceries, actually, I was just thinking about, I think Mercury Retrograde starts today. And I'm not sure if I just read that online and believed it or if it's true, but I read it online and I do feel kind of weird today. So I feel like that makes sense. Speaking of weird astrology things, 
my good friend Kira recently um, started doing readings, like readings of your birth chart. She did mine and it was so cool. It was really cool to like understand and learn all the terminology that I never knew this entire time that I thought I was into astrology or whatever. Um, I highly recommend booking a reading with her if you're interested in getting a little bit more insight into your birth chart. I'll link her Instagram and her YouTube channel down below. I think her Instagram is where you can send inquiries for booking. But yes, highly recommend. Love to see it. I'm just drinking an almond milk latte, chillin', vibin'. I went grocery shopping and now I'm home and I'm gonna put all these groceries away after I do this haul for a second time and I might take a nap. I know Lucas and I have to pull some weeds, which is my least favorite thing to do ever. I hate yard work and manual labor. Ugh, not my thing. Anyways, let's get into it. Trader Joe's. Let's, let's hit it. Uh, frozen green beans. Easy peasy. Chimichurri rice. This is incredible. Incredible. So good. So much flavor. I don't know what's in it. A bunch of vegetables, but it's Peruvian style, so that's fun. Um, I got two bags of this spicy Mexican style riced cauliflower. If you've ever had the cauli rice stir fry from Trader Joe's, I think this is similar, just Mexican inspired rather than Asian inspired. Um, it has rice cauliflower with tomatoes, tricolor bell peppers, and jalapenos. The lady at the checkout was like stoked that I was getting this. She says it's really spicy, so I'm excited. Um, I got a few different fruits for smoothies. I got frozen raspberries. This berry medley, it's like raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, and strawberries. Frozen strawberries. Oh, I forgot bananas. Fuck. That's all right. Um, ground beef for Lucas. Some roasted red peppers. I'm going to make these little pizzas with some stuff I got from Whole Foods. These black bean and cheese burritos. Y'all don't sleep on them. They are so good. So easy. Pop them in the microwave. Boom, bam, done. Delicious some lemons and some limes some teeny are these the teeny ones teeny tiny avocados look how cute they are it's so little so small uh arugula to top my little pizzas with i'm excited i got this creamy cashew fiesta dip i'm gonna make little bowls with the mexican style cauliflower rice grilled chicken oh i had to burp um these fire roasted bell peppers and onions and this cashew dip this is new to me. I've never had it. It's the gochujang vegetable stir fry with zucchini spirals. Sounds insanely delicious. Um, I will let you know how it is. I've never had it. Dishwasher pods. Diced onions because I'm lazy. Um, okay, Trader Joe's cucumbers are freaking expensive. This was like $2, $1.99 for a cucumber. I still bought it, but like, come on. I got some ground chicken, just an easy protein to have. Some spaghetti noodles. This garlic dip. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I talk about it all the time. I'll link my Instagram below. Um, but this is the garlic dip from Trader Joe's. Literally the only ingredients are canola oil, garlic, lemon juice, citric acid, and salt. It's like this creamy whipped spread. And I swear to God, with these little like pretzel things, delicious. My favorite snack. Um, I got some almond milk, just unsweetened, original, nothing fancy. This fat-free pizza sauce. I've never had it before, but I thought it would be good on these, like, cauliflower things that I got from Whole Foods. This is new. It's called Magnifi Sauce. I don't know. It kind of, like, resembles an in-and-out sauce based on the ingredients. It's kind of what it sounds like. But I thought it would be good on top of, like, a sandwich or a burger or something. And then, last from Trader Joe's is I got these Inner Peas. Contemplates inner peas. So I baked two of those cauliflower thins from Whole Foods <laughs> at um, 400 degrees for, honestly, I don't know how long it was, like 10 to 15 minutes. And I'm going to add on some pizza sauce from Trader Joe's, dairy-free mozzarella that I got at Whole Foods, um, a little bit of garlic dip, and then some turkey pepperoni. I'm finished pulling weeds. That was rough. Um, I manual labor, not really cut out for it. I'm waiting for my pizza to bake in the oven. This is my baby, that's his cone. Oh my gosh, delicious. Um, actually, what I do with the garlic dip, it might sound kind of weird, um, but instead of spreading it down, 
I place little like plops underneath the pepperoni so it kind of resembles like chunks of mozzarella and it is so good i'm putting this back in the oven i don't know just until everything's like melty and crispy so maybe for like five minutes all right let's see how it is lucas is watching youtube in his office so i'm sorry if you can hear it also i'm sorry for the ass quality my camera died and i lost my camera charger so i'm recording on my iphone wow that's really really good you can't even tell that the cheese is vegan when it's when it's raw you can raw when it's cold you can definitely tell it's not real mozzarella but melted it's just not as gooey but it tastes the same hello i suck um lucas and i ended up getting sushi for dinner instead of cooking because i'm lazy and he said sushi and i said okay so <laughs> here we are um, we're about to go for a drive with another couple that we're friends with, just like a cruise through some back roads here in San Diego. And that's it for the night, really. I mean, I'm going to get home, wash my face, do my skincare. I might show it. I don't know. Like I said, my camera battery is dead and I lost my charger, so I'm using my phone. It's just like hard to prop up in the bathroom, but we'll see. Um, do some skincare and go to bed. I have a not a busy day actually i have a whole bunch of nothing planned for tomorrow i'm gonna go to the gym and come home and relax all day long because my last handful of weekends have been so 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 busy so i'm just excited to vibe and chill good morning i suck at vlogging uh but that's okay because i'm getting back into it um, i'm squatting down because the sweatshirt i have on has the logo for the company that i work for on it um so i'm not gonna show it but I am just gonna hang out today. It's 8.30 in the morning on a Sunday. It seems ungodly to be awake this early. Um, but I'm going to make a smoothie, do a workout. I thought about going to the gym, but Lucas is gone. And I don't wanna put Scooter in his crate because he has his big like neck pillow on. I'm worried that he'll like get stuck or something. Um, so I'm gonna do a home workout. I'm gonna make a smoothie. I'm gonna do some skincare. I might meal prep a little bit just I got my always pan oh my god I showed you guys yesterday um, I'm gonna use that today for the first time I was gonna use it last night but we got sushi so I'm gonna cook some like lemon thyme chicken and some roasted veggies just to have for the week to mix and match because I'm on a weight loss journey whoa, whoa. I don't know why that's my new thing I can't stop singing and talking um, but I think the next video I post is gonna be like a what I eat in a day to lose weight or what I eat in a week I don't know let me know in the comments what you'd rather see, a day or a week, I don't know, or a few days, a weekend, what I eat in a weekend, I don't know, let me know. But yeah, today we're just vibing, we're thriving, we're chilling, we're relaxing. I am definitely going to work out because I lost a few pounds and I'm just feeling the, feeling the motivation. Look at my little baby. Look at him with his neck pillow so i'm making a protein shake um i just did a workout and what i'm going to use is just banana i have I like sliced banana and i keep it in the freezer and then some frozen strawberries a tablespoon or a little bit less of this creamy almond butter from trader joe's one scoop of this women's best peanut butter cereal flavored protein uh it's tammy hembrose from her like collab with them this is so freaking good and then just about a cup of unsweetened plain almond milk i'm not measuring it but you know do your thing do your thing look at how stunning i got these glass straws on amazon um gorgeous not for you mister not for you I'm gonna drink this, chill, um, probably take a shower and just kind of vibe for the day. So I seasoned some chicken and garlic powder, zatar seasoning, salt, pepper, and onion powder. Put a little bit of olive oil in my always pan, ow, that was hot. Uh, really excited to use this. Um, I diced up some tomatoes, I diced up some white onion, and by I diced up, I mean I threw in some already diced white onion that I bought from Trader Joe's. Um, I'm just gonna pop the top on this and let it sit for a while to help it cook in the middle and then flip her over. I am have my chicken cooking right now and I'm prepping some veggies. This is my like ratchet camera setup right now. Brussels sprouts and asparagus are my favorites to have on hand. I'm just gonna go in with some garlic powder. 
Uh, and seriously, measure with your heart, bitch, because whew, I love garlic powder. Some black pepper. Of course, some pink salt. It's all over the top. And then I do lemon juice. I just got seeds all over it. Um, and I did spray it with a little bit of like Trader Joe's spray olive oil just to save on the calories a little bit. Man, it's been a really nice weekend, honestly. I I feel like I'm always so busy these days. And it's like not even real busy, it's like fake busy. Like I need to meal prep and like do all this stuff, but it's really just a lot of tasks that I need to do. But it's really just like a lot of mundane, boring tasks. I might throw a little bit of oregano on top of this for those spuds. Boom, some oregano. Now I'm gonna pop this in an oven for, I don't know how long, I never really know until it's like finished. Okay, my little rough meal prep is done. I know this looks kind of gross, but trust me, it's bomb. What I like to do is I shred it up and then I put it on a bed of Brussels sprouts and asparagus and top it with some feta. Sometimes I'll do some brown rice, sometimes I'll throw it over some like chickpea pasta. Um, but yeah, that is the finished product of my easy little dinner throw together meal prep. If I'm not feeling chicken, I can have the veggies with salmon. Um, I could just do the veggies with brown rice and a teriyaki sauce. There's so much that I can do with just these like two little things. So um, this is kind of what I do every week for dinners. I do a more in-depth meal prep for my lunches for work. If you guys want to see that, let me know. I can do maybe like a meal prep with me video, but I just thought I would throw this little tidbit in the vlog. I can definitely film that video with my camera because I just ordered a new charger and it'll be here soon. So um, I'm sorry that this vlog is kind of shitty, but the future ones will be better. So stick around for those. <laughs> I'm going to be so, so honest. I haven't done it shit today. Ah! <laughs> I had my smoothie and I cleaned the whole kitchen and I took a nap for like two and a half hours. That was most of my day. I took a nap for like two and a half hours with Scooter. And I went to go save my brother just now because his radiator hose like popped off his car or something. So I had to go help him. And now I'm home. And honestly, I'm going to take a shower. I don't know. There's, this is like the most boring vlog, but I just, I just want to put something up. And maybe there were some fun things in it. I don't know. Maybe there weren't. Maybe this has just been lame the whole time. <laughs> oh, well. Hello. I have pretty much done nothing all day long. I'm sorry that this vlog has been honestly probably so boring to watch. I'm going to do a little skincare and just vibe. Lucas is still not home yet. It was his friend's birthday so they went for a cruise uh, up to the coast to like Newport Beach. <laughs> just car stuff. It's um, Lucas's friend's birthday and so him and his friends went on like a little fun drive up to Newport Beach. So I just have a me day. I'm using these Sephora collection glycolic peel pads. Glow peel pads. I usually use these in the morning, but I forgot to use it this morning. So, hey, calm down. Then I go in with this Sunday Riley UFO oil. If you know me, you know I rave about this stuff. This and the CEO Glow. I use this one at night and the Glow one in the morning. I used to have really, really bad cystic acne, and my skin is nowhere near good or perfect, but it's it's just a lot better than it used to be. Just a few drops of that. Honestly, nothing feels better after a day of doing nothing than some nice skincare. I really want to do a week in my life video, but I'm nervous that I'm not going to be able to commit to it. Like, I haven't been able really to dedicate all the time I would like to to YouTube, and now I'm trying to like baby step into it. And I worry a week in my life is just like diving right in. I don't know. But. Also, every day is like the same for me, so I don't know if that would even be interesting. Next, I'm using the Biosans Squalane and Lactic Acid Serum. It is delicious. I just do like one and a half pumps or just one. Friendly reminder, this will sting a little bit if you have any like open spots on your face, like pimple or something like that. I like to let that sit for a little bit. Um, sometimes I will use the Barbara Sturm Clarifying Serum, uh, but it's really expensive, so I don't use it very often. I wanna say like maybe two or three times a week. 
and because my skin is so dry i'm using the first aid beauty ultra repair cream bomb this does wonders for dry skin it's nice and thick and it comes in a big pot like this i saw the price and i was like 37 dollars. like that's the same price as the one i use now i was using um the fresh night repair cream or something like that it's a blue container and it's the same price and i'm like mm, i don't really want to you know use something that expensive and then i realized that this is like three times the size so highly recommend if you have dry skin although it's not really like winter time here we don't really have winter <laughs> it is like rainy and chilly for what we're used to so need all that moisture can you see my sink full of dishes oh that's my stove <laughs> my stove with like a million pots on it sorry <sighs> that's my nighttime skincare i need a brush my hair, now that it's shorter, is so much easier to brush. I'm not kidding. Cutting my hair is the best thing I ever did. So for detangler, I use the Oribe Run-Through Detangler. I think that's how you say it, Oribe. My hairdresser's probably watching this right now, cringing at how much I just used. the Aussie restoring oil I don't know if I've honestly been using this forever and I love it don't sleep on it scooter <laughs> quiet Bubba I just do like that much because I don't need that much because I don't have a lot of hair so you don't really need too much because it's pretty moisturizing and I just use it on my ends. Kind of. That's my little nighttime routine that nobody asked for. Um, I think I'm just going to chill for the rest of the night like I have been doing all weekend, which has been really nice. I'm going to make some dinner. I'm going to use that Mexican cauliflower rice, Mexican style cauliflower rice from Trader Joe's uh, with some grilled chicken, avocado, cashew queso. We'll see how good it is. I love my always pan, by the way. How many times can I say that? It's amazing amazing definitely an investment definitely worth it i'm still living in christmas this is still my favorite candle right now i love it fresh balsam from bath and body works while i make dinner i'm gonna do some of this olipop vintage cola i put it in a wine glass because it just makes me feel oh nice makes me feel fancy love my life so I'm doing one and a half servings of the Mexican style rice cauliflower and like half a serving of these roasted peppers and onions. I love these. These are, a, what the hell? These are a staple in my house. And um, I'm hoping that this will also be one. I'm so excited. This little rest is so handy dandy. But yep, it's pretty much done. I threw in some just like grilled diced chicken, nothing fancy. I tasted it to see if it needed any seasoning and it's pretty spicy. I added a little bit of adobo ooh, and a, I added a little bit of adobo and a little bit of garlic seasoning, um, but otherwise I feel like it's so well flavored. This looks so bomb. I just layered some avocado with that cashew queso from Trader Joe's on top. I did a little bit of pepper just for flavor. <laughs> I added a little bit of pepper just to the top of the avocado and then like half of a lime juiced because I love lime juice. I'm gonna eat this, drink my cola, feed my bubba, because it's time for his dinner too.